today we have Mercer's Portfolio Manager, Robert Kavanagh with us. Hi Rob. Hi Tatiana. After such a tough start to the year, it looks like investment markets are staging a recovery. What is driving this? That's right Tatiana. The market recovery in the past three months has been remarkable. We saw a sharp decline in markets in March, which was looking like it was only going to get worse when thankfully central banks around the world stepped in and cut interest rates and governments announced stimulus packages. This really helped to stabilise markets and stop some of the panic that was creeping in. These measures have continued to benefit markets, along with a pickup in economic activity as lockdown restrictions have been eased in many countries. Virus outbreaks in parts of the world have threatened these gains, but investors have been looking long term and are returning to the market. As you can see on the screen, the funds have experienced some recovery from the sell-off experienced in the first quarter of the year. Returns are very strong over the quarter, and you can see all funds are back in positive territory for the one year. So this all sounds positive, Rob, but when I listen to the news, it doesn't seem that way. What are some of the concerns going forward? While we have seen a strong recovery in markets so far, there are considerable downside risks that do remain. Issues associated with COVID-19 will have an impact on the New Zealand economy and economies around the world for some time. We expect there to be two stages to the ongoing economic recovery. The first stage is a pickup in economic activity as economies are reopened. So going from nothing to something. And we're seeing this happen at the moment. Stage two is a recovery back to pre-COVID-19 levels. And this could be fast or it could be slow, as it depends on vaccine development, how quickly businesses are confident enough to spend again, and to what extent reopenings trigger new waves of infections. There are a number of uncertainties and significant risks that do remain. Other issues that we're keeping a close eye on include the upcoming US election in November and continued trade tension between US and China. We expect governments and central banks are likely to continue their support measures for a while to come, and this should promote further recovery and cushion some of these risks. But for now, the most important thing to do is to choose the most appropriate investment strategy which suits your financial objectives which may be retirement, first home purchase, or just saving for a rainy day. And we have tools and financial advisors on hand to help. Thank you, Rob.